Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Have you ever been creating a video in Canva and dragged your own video on and it's just changed the actual timing? Let me show you exactly what I mean. For those of you that are new here and don't know me yet, my name is Darren Meredith, I'm a Canva verified expert. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you this really neat video editing trick when you're using Canva. Now I've got a couple of workarounds and a couple of things to be aware of, so make sure you stick around to the end for all the tips. Here we are, we're in Canva. This is just a video template that I've chosen. And what we want to do is we've got the kind of like the timing we've found and we've uploaded our audio and things like that. So let's just play this through. So you'll see I've got this. So you'll see it kind of like changes and I thought well this would be really cool to kind of like change like a maybe a black and white video or image and then change it into color so let me show you exactly what I mean by that so what we would do normally is we'd come over to our first kind of frame if you like and we drag on our video and you can see once I drag on my video there that's just gonna change it from what was it 0.5 seconds or yeah 1.5 seconds all the way up to 11 seconds and that's not what we want to be able to do what we want to do is be able to add our own video or images on there and for it to actually lock the screen you can do that quite easily let me show you so if you come down if you highlight the frame so we're just going to highlight page one and then up in the right hand corner here you'll see this this lock now if you click it once it shows like a little pencil on there and that says it's locked the page but it allows the content to be editable and i'll come back to that one in a second and then this one with just the lock means it's fully locked and you can't change anything on there so at the moment i can't add any video or audio or edit the text or anything else like that you'll see even the little lock in the element can't be changed okay so let's come back and let's change that from unlocked and it cycles through the three so you go unlocked and then the one with the pencil on it once it's got the item with the pencil on it you can then drag the video in and it stays at the same timing on there now let me show you a couple of things you need to be aware of on this so let's say now I want to be able to edit that video or choose the video clip that I want to I can highlight it on there and I can then crop or I can choose the area of the video that I want fantastic what I can't do is I can't actually edit the coloring or anything else like that of the video now it comes more apparent when I actually come on to show you how to do this with images. Okay, so let's say we've now got, this is our timeline. I'll just reset this. Okay, so this is our timeline we've got coming up and then we want to add images on this. Okay, so if I come over to photos, okay, these are just some of the images that I've been playing about with recently. So if I click on the first one, I want to add this photo. I want to come on and I want to change and for it to go on to the second photo there. But on this first photo, I want it to be black and white. You can see, no matter what I do, I can't edit the image. What I first have to do is actually unlock the page fully, then come back, highlight the image again, and then edit image and that's where I can then change the saturation if you want to then make sure that you lock that again you just highlight the frame and then you go up in the right hand corner and you'll click lock page so say I wanted to do multiple versions of this actual video if you like now when I come back let's say we're on the first frame here let's say I want to drag in this image instead you'll see it stays and it keeps the actual attributes that you've applied to the previous image okay so let's just put that one in there okay so you see now you just come over and you've got you've got that color change okay and that's the same for any of these videos that you've got on here okay so if I come back and say I wanted this video okay I'm just going to demonstrate this again for you and I want to then just drag that in there and then let me show you what the final product of this looks like okay so there we go we've got the final video so let me let's play this for you okay 
And I really like the way that kind of like loading screen lasts. And if you wanted to make this longer, all you're going to have to do is you're going to have to come over and if you just duplicate the images and then just drag them onto the end. So if I want to duplicate that version and that one. Okay, and then we can just come along and duplicate our audio and then drag our audio over and that's going to snap up there. And then all we need to do is come along and replace those other images if we wanted to replace those. For more video editing tips like this in Canva, don't forget to click like and subscribe and turn on the bell notification down below because I've got some more neat tricks and tips and tricks coming up on how you can edit video in Canva. So don't forget to do all that. Until next time, thank you very much and bye for now.